Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I put out a video and I figured I'd do one tonight on a couple of Topps knives that I've picked up in the last week. One of them I purchased myself. I kind of had a unique concept in mind with it and we'll go over that when we get to it. The other one was a gift from my wife. Uh, she bought this knife for me to use at work. Uh, to kind of have as a backup weapon, a secondary weapon. And that knife is the one we'll start with. Get you turned around here. That first knife is a Topps Quickie. It is made from 1095. It is a Rockwell of 56 to 58. As you can see, it is very small and very lightweight. Uh, the overall length on the knife is 5 inches. The weight on the knife itself is 1.2 ounces. The weight on the knife with the sheath is only 2.5 ounces. The thickness on this is 0.13, so it's very, very thin. It comes with the typical Topps whistle and the little blue authenticity card. Uh, let's get this out of the sheath here and we'll go over the design and the purpose of this. This knife is copied somewhat off of a karambit. Uh, I guess you could call it a mini karambit. And the reason I call it that is... It is designed to be used like a karambit, but instead of a typical karambit that goes off of your index finger, this one is designed to go off of your middle finger or your third finger and to be held in that fashion. The leading edge, this primary edge here, the length on it is 1.13 inches. The trailing edge or the secondary edge on the back side is one and a half inches so it is double sided uh, with it being set up to go on the middle finger like that this little tab at the top kind of gives you something to hold on to with your index finger you can still spin it around that way or all the way outside and then bring it back if you need to where it is double edge, it will cut going and coming. So a lot of the karambit techniques can be used with this. I will tell you that little tab makes it a little harder for some things, getting it to spin and turn and all that. But it, with some practice, I say you could get pretty quick at it. Um, I have contacted Tops to see if I could get a unsharpened version of this to use as a trainer. The only complaint I've got with this knife is the sheath and I'll explain that. I like the way it goes in. It doesn't rattle. <clears throat> the only problem I've seen with it is the few nights I've carried it at work. Carrying it on the duty belt with the Molly carrier Sometimes that carrier will hook on that and push it down. Well, when it pushes it down that way, it literally will just fall out. So I'm going to see if I can figure out some way to modify that sheath a little to hold that a little bit better than that. It was worse. Uh, I carry it in that configuration right now. That spring clip was over on this other side, which made me carry it at about that angle, and it was worse then than it is now. Uh, I've carried it a lot in plain clothes this weekend, and you can't even tell you've got this thing on. It's so light, and I love that about it. If you look this up on Top's website, they've got it priced at 90 bucks. At Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which is where she ordered this one for me, it comes in at just under fifty-seven dollars. 
which is not a bad n price for this type of knife, I don't feel. I'm going to keep on using this at work, carrying it as much as I can to kind of see what I think about it. And hopefully down the road I'll be able to figure out something with this sheath to take care of that one little problem. <clears throat> now, the other knife I bought. I have been looking for a small fixed blade that was fairly robust. Uh, didn't necessarily have to have a full handle on it. It was something that I wanted to do just very minor tasks such as opening boxes, um, maybe put doing some small feather sticks, use with a ferrule rod as a striker. And I wanted it either in a neck knife configuration or something to where I could put it in a sheath and just drop the sheath in my pocket. And what I come up with on that one is the Topps Chico. It is a very small fixed blade. It is very, very robust. The thickness on this is 0.19. It is made from 1095 as well. It has a rock wheel of 56 to 58. The overall length on this knife is four and a half inches. It has kind of a modified tanto point on it. The blade length is 1.89 inches. Uh, the knife by itself weighs 2.8 ounces. The knife and the sheath weighs 3.8 ounces. Um, it is designed as a two-fingered knife uh, that's got some jimping there on the back that's very, very nice. I'm going to do a few little modifications to this. As you can tell, it's got the black traction coating on it. It will not scrape a ferrule rod, so I'm going to try to clean a lot of that off of the blade portion of it and try to put a 90-degree spine on it so I can use it with a ferrule rod. That way it would pull kind of a double duty. The sheath, oh, there is absolutely no rattle whatsoever with it. It come with this ball chain on it. It come with a little metal spring clip and come with the whistle. Then it come with this as well. This was actually hooked through the loop in the back. This is some sort of copy of the little stream lights, push button LED lights. It has the switch on the top of it so that you can flip it and it'll stay on constantly. Um, I haven't really got to do much with this. We'll see what happens with it. I'll play with it some when I go to work. Just see how bright it actually is. Uh, one of the other things I'm going to do to this knife is I'm going to put some sort of snake knot little tassel on the back of it to help give a little more back here on the back side to hold on to. This thing was sharp right out of the box. Yeah, I could shave with it when I got it. I've cut some cardboard and some stuff like that with it just piddling and we'll see what happens. After I get my modifications done to the blade, I will get back with you. One of the other things I liked about this is the ability of it being so small, being able to hold it like that and cut with just this little portion right here. But uh, we'll see what it does after I get done working on it a little. The price on this one is really surprising. It was just a touch under 40 bucks, like 39.97 or 95 or something at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I haven't looked this up on their website to see what it goes for, but uh, at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, it was just right at 40 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good price for it. I've wore this one a lot this weekend. 
with just the neck chain. I don't like chains on a neck knife. I usually prefer to have either a leather thong on it around my neck or have paracord. This one I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to do leather or whether I'm going to do the paracord. I'm still trying to figure out which one I want to do with that. But, <clears throat> but overall I'm pleased with both of these and look forward to using them some and oh sorry my back's killing me tonight and seeing how they turn out in the long run this one especially i'm really really looking forward to packing this one a lot and seeing how it does um, if i can figure out that sheath somehow that'll take care of the only problem I've got with this one. As far as the Chico, I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. But that's all I've got for you tonight. Oh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll try to get another one out for you here pretty soon. It's kind of cooled down a little bit. We've had quite a bit of rain in the last couple of days, so that's cooled things down quite a bit. Uh, our garden is actually coming along very, very well. We've got more cucumbers than I can count out of the garden so far. Banana peppers are the same. Our tomatoes are starting to ripen up. Watermelons, we've got at least four watermelons that are about that big around already. Cantaloupes are coming on. Next weekend, we hope to dig potatoes and see what that happens, what we get out of that. Hopefully, I get at least a couple of five-gallon buckets worth of new potatoes out of that. And our corn and green beans are doing good, so we'll see what happens with all of it. You all have a good night. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll get another one up for you soon.